What's up sellers? Welcome to today's video. We're at the Goodwill bins. This is a thrifting video, thrift with me. And then at the end of it, we will do a thrift haul and I'll show you what I got. I have a very good feeling that today is going to be an amazing day. Let's jump into it. All right, guys, once again, um, we're here at the Goodwill outlet or the bins as some folks call it. I'm gonna strap on the GoPro and get in there and start looking for some wins. Um, I feel like today's just really a good day. Um, I've been up since 3.50 a.m. Uh, today and I'm just pumped. I'm ready to go. So with that being said, let's jump into the Goodwill. Let's find some profit in those reject items. Let's go. All right, guys, we are in the Goodwill outlet and uh, grabbing a cart. Remember that whenever you um, are sourcing in these really filthy places, wear some gloves. Just save some, save yourself the germs, right? Uh, first, I found this pair of Jordans. They were in not good condition at all. They had some problems, threw them back. Found a pair of uh, Michael Kors leather boots, and I was so excited about these because they were real. However, they were really destroyed. You can see on the back there, there was like some dog chew damage. Uh, Roxy boots, no good. Found that pair of um, shape, like similar to Shape Ups, but they were Champion brand, no good. Pair of Nikes. Uh, really filthy, and that mesh is really hard to clean. I put them in my basket to check comps, but in the long run, I ended up putting them back. Found this pair of Nike Air Monarchs. Uh, I put the shoe back at first because I couldn't directly see the pair for it. Uh, yeah, Air Jordan 1s, purple and black. Really good condition. Threw them in the basket. Remember, I throw everything in the basket and then check comps and conditions later. So I'll fill the basket up and then weed it down to the items that I actually want to take home with me. Found this pair of Nike Air Force Ones, but the toe box was all collapsed and really limp, so I just left them. Someone came right after me and picked them up. You probably could get a few bucks profit off that, but I'm not really interested in, in putting in that work for just a few bucks. Michael Kors uh, flats destroyed on the toe. I don't know what people are doing, dragging their feet while they walk or something. This pair of Asics, these are really good Asics to sell. However, this pair was garbage, totally destroyed. But that white and silver and gold colorway goes really well online. Anyways, threw it back. Found the other shoe for that pair of Nike Air Monarchs. Decided to pick them up and throw them in the basket. This pair of Nike Air Force Ones completely destroyed. Not even worth the time to clean them. Found this pair of Jordans. I don't remember the reason that I put them back. Maybe because they were kids. I don't know. Uh, in retrospect, I should have just taken them. I don't think there was anything wrong with them. Oh, right here. Great find. Red Wing shoes. Red Wing shoes always sell really well. They're a very expensive shoe. These shoes probably cost 150 to 180 brand new. And so the resale value is always there. Red Wing shoes has a great... Um, has a great warranty, lifetime warranty. And so if something happens to the shoe, you can take them back. They will replace or repair them. Found this pair of foam posits, was real excited. And then the toe was destroyed, so no. Another pair of Jordans, not worth it. They're kids' Jordans. I like these Nikes right here. Um, really good condition. They were dirty, but good condition. Not sure if they were real, and so um, I looked them up online. I couldn't find much information about them. However, put them in the basket anyways, just to see. Found these pair of Nikes. These are really good Nikes to resell. That sort of look, that colorway, and, and the way it, uh, the mesh is. However, I um, I did not end up buying them. I put them in the basket, but I did not end up buying them just because of the condition and how filthy they were. I didn't want. I don't want to spend too much time cleaning. Uh, because, you know, there's a lot that goes into uh, 
everything that we do as resellers. And so you have to, you have to be careful with your time. So I ended up putting them back in the long run. Found these pair of Jordan slides, found no comps for them, but I did find that other Jordan slides, just black and white, sell for $30 brand new. So they ended up going back. This is a brand called Camper, a really profitable shoe. I'm thoroughly shocked that I found it. I knew nothing about the brand. I did research after this and found them. Uh, some Clark's in motion walking shoes. You notice that a lot of the shoes I'm getting are black or really drab colors. That's because when people come through, they often overlook the drab colored shoes. A pair of Jordans completely destroyed. Here I was determining whether I wanted to spend the time to try to restore them. I did not. A pair of the North Face Goose Down Filled boots in absolute excellent condition. I bought them. Uh, Winter is coming to a close, but I bought them anyways. I'm going to try to sell them fast. This pair of Mizunos, I did not end up buying them. Not sure why. Oh, that was why right there. It's a pair of Clarks. I threw them in the basket. However, after checking comps on them later on, uh, I determined that they are not worth selling. There was no profit there. That lady up there is just trying shoes on in the Goodwill outlet. I don't know why. These sandals destroyed. Found these kids Jordans. Overall good condition. A couple concerning things with them, but I got them anyways just to um, see what I can do with them. Found a pair of Belleville military boots. I've had several pairs of these boots from when I was in the Navy. However, I noticed that first boot was okay. The other boot, you can see on the toe, is just hamburger meat. Not worth trying to repair. It would take a ton of wax and a ton of time to fill that in and smooth it out. So those just went back in the bin. A pair of Timberland boots. The new buck. And I just don't want to deal with trying to get those clean. This pair of shoes, I couldn't determine what they were, but they seemed like quality. They didn't seem cheap, but I couldn't find a brand on them anywhere, so I guess they were nothing. And this pair is called Foot Magi. I looked them up, and unfortunately, there was nothing of any profit on them, though the branding and the shoe style seemed very uh, interesting, like it might be worth something. I threw them in the basket, later on found out they were worth nothing, and so they went back in the bin. Another pair of Jordans, totally destroyed. You know, if you're a shoe rehabber, if you rehabilitate shoes, there's definitely some money to be made there. Another pair of Air Force Ones. Not sure why I didn't get these. I'm trying to remember. Can't remember. Probably just got distracted by these pair of Nikes. Really good condition. A little dirty, but overall really good condition. You'll notice that I hit these bins several times from either side because sometimes you just miss things. These Coleman suede boots. I picked those up, ended up getting them. A pair of New Balance that needed laces. I threw those back and then I think I ended up, yeah, I ended up picking them back up and throwing them in the basket. It's a pair of Nike Air Force Ones. Really bad cleanliness and yellowing on the sole. However, I ended up putting them in the basket because there is profit if you can get them clean. So I'm going to get them cleaned. A pair of New Balance right here. Um, once again, they just need to be cleaned really, really well. So I threw them in the basket. This a pair of Brooks right here. Not sure why I didn't get these. There it is. That's the reason why. I often forget why I don't buy shoes. So I guess that's why these videos are helpful. So I think at this point I had hit every single shoe bin. I think there's six or eight of them. And I normally hit them one to two times each. Just because there's a lot of stuff that you kind of miss. If you're focusing on colorful shoes, you miss the brown drab stuff and vice versa. If you are focused on the brown black drab shoes, you miss the uh, you know the the colorful stuff you just not it's all, it's all dependent upon what you focus on so then at this point i just go to the back of the store and i have a basket set there i will check 
each pair of shoes on eBay for comps, put them in the other basket and throw the, the no good shoes away. Saw these Nikes, they were no good. And that is that. Then uh, checked out. All right, just finished up in the Goodwill bins uh, in that outlet. I scored a lot of shoes. I spent most of my money on shoes. However, um, I was really hoping to get more clothing. I think I got like four or five articles of clothing that had the resale value there. Um, it was just honestly, after going through all the shoes, sort of like a daunting process to go through all the clothes also. And it's super packed today. So uh, I'm happy with the shoes I got. There's definitely some cleanup that's involved, but we will go over that stuff. We will go over the items that I bought as soon as I get home. All right, guys, welcome back. Hey, it is actually the next day that I'm recording this part. So I sourced yesterday, came home, had to do a What Sold Wednesday video and do a whole bunch of stuff. So uh, I'm doing the haul part of this video the next day. But I have all my stuff in their bags and let's jump into it. Um, all right, so we have two bags, two big bags of shoes. And then we have uh, this little bag of clothes right here. I was really hoping to get a lot more clothing. I didn't, that's okay. So let's kick it off with this. First off, we've got this pair of gray Levi's 514s with the black tag. This is a size 4230. I recently sold a pair of jeans in this approximate size. I think they were 4030s. And so I thought 42 might be worth selling. And then also these um, 514 gray Levi's do very well on eBay, anywhere from 25 to 30 bucks plus shipping. So these are really good condition, no rips, tears, stains, or smells. And uh, yeah, the, the kind of the only downfall to where they're not really new looking is how the waistband is sort of like rumpled there, but that's okay. Uh, they will still sell, and I'll probably try to do 25 bucks for those. They are a little bit heavier because they're a bigger size. And so I'm thinking at $1.59 per pound, I probably paid three bucks for them but three to 25 fits my margins and that's what I'm looking for. This next shirt is an Island Republic XXL, 100% silk, not embroidered, but sort of like it's got a texture to it. Uh, Hawaiian shirts, this aqua color, really like it. Um, it's nice. And I want to say it's probably a vintage shirt. I could be wrong. However, it's a hundred percent silk Island Republic right there. The other shirts that I saw online, I couldn't find this exact shirt, but I, I found comparable items. That's a comp. And they were selling for 25 to 35. This next shirt, similar, is Cuba Vera. I found them selling for 25 to 30. It is an extra large. However, I looked up these Cuba Vera shirts and if you look on the panel, it's got this, it's also in black, but it's got this sort of embroidery that goes the length of the shirt. And so, and then it's got these additional pockets at the bottom. So it's got one pocket up here and one pocket down here, um, kind of unique. And so these shirts were selling 25 to 35 plus shipping. Clearly I'm gonna have to iron those shirts. And then I just got a pair of khaki pants for my son. He's always needing pants cause he's, he tears through them. It is crazy what kids do to pants. All right, so that was bag number one. That was all clothing. And so let's move on to bag number two. Now, I paid $55 in total out the door, that's tax and everything, uh, 55 bucks out the door for all the shoes and all the clothing, including that one personal item for my son, the pants. With the rest of this stuff, it's all shoes, they're all for sale, but there's a couple that were sort of like on the fringe um, of like cleanliness, and I just got them because I want to see if I can actually clean them up, make a video about it. So one of those pairs being this um, pair of Air Force Ones, you may not be able to tell in the camera, but it's really yellowed right here. Uh, the laces are super dingy. They're pretty beat up, but they uh, they have the ankle strap. And the overall condition as far as the build and, and the wear, like they have a good sole on them. You can see the sole there is pretty good. A little flat right there, but uh, for the most part, pretty good. And these are selling in like excellent condition, 50 bucks, but in... Um, in kind of like shows signs of use condition, like this, 25 to 35. The next pair that I'm super excited about and looking forward to cleaning up and getting out of the house quickly because winter is coming to a very fast close are these Goose Downfilled The North Face boots. 
Uh, I do not want to hang on to these for the summer. And so I'm going to try to get rid of these as fast as possible. They're selling for 45 to 50 on eBay for this uh, goose down filled. These are women's nines. Nine? Yeah, women's nines. So if you want them, put a comment down below and I'll give you a special price on them. I uh, just want to get these out the door. But you can see the sole is in really good condition. There we go. North face. Boom. Really good. Happy about those. An absolute winning steal of the day are these Red Wing shoes. I paid $350. All the adult shoes I paid $350. All the kids' shoes I paid $250. So I paid $350 for these Red Wing shoes. They are the slip-on style. Oil resistant and slip resistant. They have some good tread on them. You see right there in the middle, a little bit flat, but Red Wings hold their value incredibly well and they have a great lifetime guarantee. So very excited about these. Got this pair that I feel like will do well. This is a pair of Clark's In Motion walking shoes. Good tread on them, good sole. Uh, comfortable, they have the memory foam inside, super comfortable shoes for uh, people that like Clark's and that style. Got these pair of New Balances. They are pretty filthy. I'm gonna do a good job of cleaning these up, uh, but the tread is there and that is a huge determining factor. No rips, tears, stains, or smells. Smells actually like Febreze, so that's pretty awesome. And the sole is all intact. Pretty happy about those. These are actually uh, 573s, New Balance 573. I think those were in the $35 range for resale on eBay. Next, this is a brand I feel like everyone should be keeping an eye out for if you don't already know. The brand is called Camper, C-A-M-P-E-R, like, like you wanna go camping, you're a camper, right? It's got this cool sole on it, all these little bubble kind of tread deal. It is a bowling style shoe. It is pretty heavy. Um, it is not a bowling shoe, but it is bowling style. Really cool look to it if you're into that kind of thing. Uh, I paid, what, $350, and they are selling on eBay for $55. This is the pair that will pay for the day. So that is bag number one of shoes. Now let's move on to bag number two of the shoes. First off, to, to kick this bag off, a pair of suede, moccasin style boots Coleman Coleman's good for just selling like a good 25 to 30 dollar pair of shoes used um, I am going to run this uh, suede through you know run some conditioner and cleaner through this suede and spruce it up because it's a little bit rough looking so doesn't smell which is good and it's totally intact which I love that yeah a good pair of shoes this next pair are they're filthy but they're selling for $35 they are Nike Air Monarchs. They sell for 35 bucks. Yeah, these are filthy. Dad cut a lot of grass, you can tell. Whoever's dad used these. You should be proud of your dad. These things, this is dope. Size 13, paid three and a half. Gonna sell them for 35. There's a lot of tread left on them. Uh, the main issue with them is like the grass. Look at all this grass down here. Yeah, just get all the grass out and we're golden. Probably so many cookouts with these, right? Dads and their air monarchs, I'm telling you. Got this pair of pretty basic uh, ASICs right there. These are the ASIC, can't really tell you what they are because there's no name on them right now. Uh, but I looked them up in the store and they're profitable. So paid 350. Pair of New Balances, no laces. I'll put the laces in. These were selling for 35. They are New Balance. 940 version 2. I've sold those before for $45. So I, I think I'll have no problem getting them out. These, I don't know if these are fake or, or what. I don't think they are because when I did searches for comps, I found the comps, but maybe other people think they're fake. Maybe they are. They're in absolute excellent condition. I can just list them like this. I won't. I'll, I'll clean them up and I'll stage them, but they are absolute excellent condition, so very clean. And they were selling for, what are they? I don't even know what they are. They're a five and a half youth. I'll probably list these as a ladies shoe at size seven, because we know whatever the youth or the men's are, you go one and a half sizes up 
for Nikes and for most shoes. Converse are different. You go two sizes up for Converse. But uh, for these, they're five and a half, so they would be a seven for women. And uh, yeah, a really good looking pair of shoes. No problems. This is, this is another pair of shoes that I am, I took a risk on. They're youth Jordans, so I paid 250 for them. But on the back, that little yellowish part is has a couple cracks in it. And so I don't know how to fix that or if I just sell it as it is and just list it. Um, they definitely need to be cleaned for sure. You see the crack there. And then I think this one has two cracks. One on either side of the Jordan name. There and there. Yes. So the soles look good. You can see the soles are in really good condition. Um, slightly yellowed, but I'll clean them up and see what we can get for them. The cracks are what have me concerned the most, though. Then I got these pair of Nikes. Not sure what they are. Um, I looked them up. I couldn't find anything. I will Google them. They are a suede running shoe. They look a little bit older style, like a, like, like a retro kind of look. 80s, maybe. Um, perfect sole. You could see, like... Whoever had these didn't even use them because the little nubs that are on these squares, they're still intact. Like they haven't even been worn down at all. These are really, really good condition shoes. Uh, for whatever reason, somehow they got dirty down here. This stuff is super easy to clean, so I'm not worried about that. Uh, really excited about this pair of shoes. Wish it was in my size. I would definitely rock these. They're a men's size nine. Uh, that is not going to work for me. All right, and then finally, last pair for the day. Really excited about these this pair of Jordan 1s, purple and black, youth size 3, which is one size larger than what my son wears right now, so I need to get these out the door as fast as possible. I might try selling these as like, I don't know, youth size 3, that would be like a 4.5 in women's, I don't even know that that's a thing. So, we'll just sell them as a youth size 3. Pretty sure I can get 25 bucks for these, pretty sure I can get a little bit more than that. So. Uh, yeah, a good shoe. Going to clean them up today. Going to clean all these up and get them out the door. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit that uh, thumbs up button. And then if you're not already subscribed, be sure to subscribe and then hit the notification bell. But when you do, it's going to ask you if you want all notifications or select notifications or no notifications. Click the all and then you'll have a little notification pushed to your phone whenever I upload nearly every single day. Uh, it's not annoying but it is pretty cool and it definitely helps out the channel with that being said thank you for watching and as always keep selling get the bag i'll see you on the next video peace